Well, now to one of Dayton's most iconic signs of Halloween, the annual Stoddard Avenue Pumpkin Glow is now right around the corner. And now at 5, we show you how those pumpkins get carved and what you'll be seeing this year. <laughs> What would Halloween be without candy, costumes, and pumpkins? And when we say pumpkins, we mean carved ones and lots of them. It amazes me that it, that it can get done. I mean, I, can, I think there were maybe 400 a few years when we, ago when we started, and it's just growing and growing. There's over 800 this year, and it just amazes me that they all get carved. That's the idea behind the annual Stoddard Avenue Pumpkin Glow in Dayton's historic Grafton Hill neighborhood. The first year we carved 36 and put them on the hill. And there was such a nice response to it that we thought, well, let's try it with a little more. But that didn't last very long. Now it's a major event that includes days of gutting, tracing, and carving done by volunteers. First started coming just as visitors to see the hill, and it was so amazing. And he um, liked carving pumpkins at home, and he said, I want to go carve pumpkins, so we came down and started carving. We've been doing it for a few years now. The backyard is just filled with pumpkins. We have tents set up in the driveway with heaters uh, and lights so that they can you know see at night and it's warm and hopefully tonight or this afternoon it'll be jam-packed with people carving but even if you don't have the artistic touch you can enjoy the show it's free for everyone to enjoy and starts at dusk thursday and friday when you're here carving or gutting even gutting the pumpkins we have a nice time and that's what you want i mean if it was a bunch of you know, people that weren't happy or didn't care to do this, it wouldn't be any fun. But people have a good time when they come here.